All right, I'm gonna take a second to show you the rig we got here. We use the Acrid 400s for this, the, the new Valiants. These are the new Striper Stealth rods, brand new. These are prototype rods, so the real ones you get are gonna look a little different, but these are wicked rods here. Soft tip, everyone knows I like a soft tip, and that's the first thing these things, these rods have is that soft tip, so. We're using our Ready Rig TOS floats, TOS planer floats, okay? Team old school. That's right, team old school. TOS, baby, and that bead, put a bead here, and just snaps on the line. You can see it can slide here. We got about four feet a liter on here. This one's a little short because we had a break off, but four to five foot, even six foot of fluorocarbon liter, 40 pound. And we're gonna go do our eel. And I just do the bottom lip up to the top with our circle hook, okay? And as soon as you hook them real quick, throw them right in the water real quick because they'll wrap up and, and you know tie and be a mess. So now we're gonna grab the float. The reel is in free spool here with the clicker on. Awesome, Put the man. rod in the rod holder or between your legs. And now I'm just going to let line out. Eric, how many pulls did you have on that one? About 15, 16. Quite a far out there. Uh, yeah. after, uh, before the float? Yeah, I, I usually Third? only put about 10 oh, feet behind one. these, but the one he just caught twice had about 30 feet behind the float. So I'm going to say these are two foot. I'm going to do 15 of these. And once I got the line out, that's what you do. You grab the line from the rod tip, not the line down here, the line here. I put a twist in it. And the twist is the trick because it pops out nice with a twist. So you saw I just did the one or two twists. Now you grab the plunger on the ready rig, put this in the release, and I always push it down, make sure I got it. And now with, with the twist, when the fish puts pressure on this, he'll pull the twist out and it'll just slide right down to the bead. When it hits the bead, it stops, so it won't go down to your fish. If you just clip it on, it might come off, but sometimes you're yanking and yanking and it just slides down. So you put a twist in, you know the twist comes out, slides down to your bead. Do that again, I put my twist, put it down. And now I'll just go ahead and get it out way away from the boat. These planer floats are not designed to go way out to the side like a planer board is. I don't know if you can see them out there. They're designed to work in pairs and stay away from each other. So they'll go out away from each other. Like I said, they won't go to the side, but they're nice because when they get out there, they stay away from each other. And if I put a lot of line, they go far enough where I can put another float right down the middle. I can put flat lines, I can put down lines right in the middle. This gives us another option for more lines. All right, so we just put them in the rod holders and we, uh, we start with our strike drag, where we're gonna fight the fish. That's where we're gonna fight the fish. Put it in the rod holder, back it off a touch. Enough pressure to set the circle hook, but not enough where it's so much pressure you can't get it out of the rod holder. Once you get them out of the rod holder, you can move it up and go to work. But the soft tip is the key with these. Any any striper rod that I'm going to use has got to have a really soft tip. It was rough today. We were wobbling back and forth. That we've been tripping all our lines and everything else too. So. That's it. Put them out. Get our spread going. We got three boards on either side. Two planer floats. We can put a foot shot rod right down the middle. And that's it.